Kent, I understand we have TMI on someone tonight. Oh, yes. Hi, Rachel. You know how some politicians have a filter on what they say? Iowa Congressman Steve King doesn't have one of those. Take a look. What could possibly be scarier than Stephen King? Now, who are we up against? And I want to define that enemy. They are liberals. They are progressives. They are Che Guevarians. They are Castroites. They're socialists. More enemies on this list. Gramsciites, ring anybody's bell? Trotskyites, Maoists, Stalinists, Leninists, Marxists. They're all our enemies. How about Iowa's eerily conservative congressman, Stephen Arnold, Steve King? In his seven years representing Iowa's 5th District, one thing has become chillingly clear. Steve King will say anything. And my wife here lives here with me. And I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, that she's in far greater risk being a civilian in Washington, D.C. than an average civilian in Iraq. Mr. Goodell, then I'd ask you, you know, are you prepared to level the same charges against Fergie and J.Lo, or are you prepared to apologize to Rush Limbaugh today? It's sad that the incident happened down in Texas, but by the same token, uh, the IRS uh, is an agency that's unnecessary. Propriety, restraint, what are these compared to Steve King's relentless siege against all things not Steve King? Like immigrants, or should I say cattle? We could also electrify this, this wire with the kind of current that wouldn't kill somebody, but it would simply be a discouragement for them to be fooling around with it. We do that with livestock all the time. Cujo? Other targets, President Barack Obama, Al-Qaeda, and dancing especially in the streets. I will tell you that if he is elected president, then the, the, the radical Islamists, the, the, the Al-Qaeda and the radical Islamists and their supporters will be dancing in the streets in greater numbers than they did on September 11th. Steve King voted against relief funding for Hurricane Katrina, telling the Hill newspaper it was the best vote he ever cast. King was the sole nay vote on a House resolution acknowledging the use of slave labor in the construction of the United States Capitol. King said the children's health care bill, S-CHIP, stood for socialized Clinton-style Hillary care for illegals and their parents. Still, there are things Steve King likes, and those are creepy too. King voted against increasing penalties for dogfighting and cockfighting. On nuclear power, King said, quote, By the way, if you had been chained to the reactor at Three Mile Island when it started its reactivity, you would have gotten about the equivalent dose of an X-ray. And he called witch hunting Senator Joe McCarthy a hero for America. Look at me. One final scary thought. Steve King's not finished. I'm making no plans to run for president. I didn't make any plans to run for Congress either. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Much appreciated. Sure. Ah! <laughs> Coming up on Countdown, Glenn Beck and Sarah Palin get ready to share the stage at a Take Back Our Country event. Woohoo! Next on this show, our frequent guest Melanie Sloan uh, gets the is the recipient of one extremely valuable package that she totally didn't want or expect. The amazing details coming up next.